Okay, so we have here a graphing question, and as you can imagine, it's a little difficult to program a graphing question in a multiple choice test. Um, so what, what this test does here is it says, I've got this equation, um, 9 equals 4x minus 7y, and I want to know which quadrants of this coordinate plane right here contain the line. Um, and the way we're going to figure this out is just... Uh, rearrange this equation. Um, usually we have y on the left, right? So let's do that. Let's add 7y to each side. We have 7y plus 9 equals 4x. Subtract 9 from each side. We get 7y equals 4x minus 9. Divide each side by 7. So we get 4 sevenths x minus 9 sevenths. Okay, this is the equation that I want to work with. Now, as you think about what that equation is going to look like, graphed on the xy axis, you should look at two numbers that are important. If you remember y equals mx plus b, this is our general format for a line. m is the slope right here. And b, if you remember what b is, that's the y-intercept. And we don't need to know much about the details of this. Uh, we don't need to know exactly what points it intersects. We just need to know whether slope and y-intercept are positive or negative. So b-intercept, or the, the b value, this y-intercept, that's a negative value. <clears throat> and I'm going to draw that right here. See, I made a y-axis intercept there. It's negative. And I'm going to draw a positive slope with it. And it's not important to me whether this is a steep line or a, a, a almost flat line. That doesn't really matter. Uh, because you can imagine drawing a few different varieties of this, right? That may be a very steep line right here. See, they all have the same characteristic of being in quadrants 1, 3, and 4. And the details may vary, but uh, when you're trying to get a quick answer of which quadrants we're in, we don't care about the details so much. So I'm in quadrants 1, 3, and 4. This never touches quadrant 2. Uh, so we're going to find that answer in our list right here. Okay, that's how you do a quick and dirty graph.